Hey guys, this is Smithy. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very special one. For the first time, I have Natasha Denona's Midi palette and this is her newest palette released in the market and this is my dream palette by Natasha Denona. And this palette, I first of all love, love the packaging. I love the, you know, the paint splatter effect, that personalized effect that she's put into it. And this palette is definitely like a soft matte finish, not like her regular like plastic containers. It's definitely plastic, but it does have that soft matte finish on the uh, palette and I love it. I love that, you know, that nudie and the black effect. I'm, I'm almost matching it. <laughs> Totally intentional, I would say. <laughs> Let's talk about the whole dream collection. This dream collection comes with the palette, of course. It also comes with a face trio as well as a lip collection, which has a lip liner, a lipstick, as well as a lip gloss. Now, first, let's move on to the demo portion of the dupe shades that I could find in the face trio. So let's move on to that. Okay, let's move on to the application of the cheek products that I want to like find similar color story to. I just have bronzer and I used my L'Oreal bronzer, the infallible bronzer. Now for the blush. I felt like this blush is going to be super, super close to the Natasha Denona cream blush. And this is from Doll 10 Beauty. And the shade is called Hashtag Doll Squads. Again, it's a very neutral blush, I would say. This is like an indie brand and uh, it's more of like a cream to powder formula just the way Natasha Denona is. Uh, I do have Natasha's big blush and highlighter palette also. The formula I would say this is a little more creamy but it does apply as a matte shade on the face. Um, so let's apply this. A similar color uh, would be uh, LYS Beauty's Confident but I would say LYS Beauty's Confident is a little more on the deeper side. So I really wanted to do like uh, the closest that I have in my collection. And I feel like this is the closest. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And it's truly like a neutral blush, I would say. You can definitely pull it with warm tone looks as well as cool tone looks. Look how pretty that shade is. So if you were just interested in the cream blush, from that trio, I would say this is a great dupe for that. And now for the cream highlighter, again, a dupe in my collection is from Half Caked Beauty and this is their candy paint. And this is in the shade Sugar Cookie. Very, very close dupe to that one, I would say. Again, this is a very emollient cream formula, but very transparent as you can see. And even the Natasha Denona one is gonna look like that. So let me swatch it so that you guys can see. Look how glossy it is. And that's exactly how the Natasha Denona cream highlighter also swatches. And I have watched like, I don't know, whoever has put like review on this trio <laughs> or the palette, I've watched it. I'm gonna swatch this blush also, just so that you, like, you can see all the three together. And now for the highlighter. I do have Natasha Denona's face palette and I feel like this highlighter this one is very very close and this is the glow extreme highlighter but i feel like the impact that i was seeing in her uh, trio i felt like this is so close to that and this is from revlon it is their prismatic highlighter in the shade daybreak glimmer so i'm gonna swatch this because i feel like this is more closer uh, as compared to the other shade look at that So I feel like this is a great trio. If you do have these products, I don't think you need the trio, uh, but if you definitely, if you want it, go get it. <laughs> Let's apply the candy paint one on one cheek so that you can see how it like appears on the face. Again, this one is in the shade Sugar Cookie. I'm gonna apply it with my finger. And this gives a very subtle glow, I would say. A very natural one, but again, she does layer it up like this and the powder highlighter both together. So I'm going to show you that way too. It's, it gives like a very glossy finish on the face. And for the powder highlighter, let's do that on the other side. I'm going to take that. 
and this is like super super blinding and if you want to you can definitely layer it too so if you layer it on that cream obviously it's going to be like over the moon blinding but i would say if you do have texture i would uh, say the cream product would be better so just like that okay let me quickly go through the lip products also the similar lip products that i could find so again she had like a lip liner a lipstick as well as lip gloss i feel like these products are very very similar this one this lip liner is la girls ultimate lip liner in the shade keep it spicy it's a, a neutral cool tone leaning lip liner i really like this one for the lipstick the dupe that i found again a very nice pinky neutral nude shade and this is from revlon and the shade is keep me matte it's definitely a little more lighter than the lip liner and then i can find like a gloss but the way that i saw it it's definitely a little more on the top dopey side so i felt like this one would be close but the formula is definitely not close and this one is merit beauty's lip oil in the shade taupe so that's how i have all the three products duped for you guys i'm going to apply the lip liner and the lipstick because i think that is the most closest Now again for the lipstick I'm going to take my Revlon's Keep Me Matte in the shade Pick Me Up just like that. I really really love the lip combo and I'm just going to top it off with this lip gloss. See how beautiful that combo is? really really love that one okay now let's move on to the palette let me show you the outer carton also of the palette it's very very similar to the palette itself but this is definitely like not raised or anything it does have that you know that glossy finish but it's not like raised but on the palette it is raised which i absolutely love and this is how the palette looks as soon as i saw this palette leaked I knew that I need to have this. Like and I am not a person who collects Natasha Denona palettes by any means. If you have been with me, you know that I almost dupe everything that she releases. Uh, and that's just because of the color story. I was just looking for a color story that's not like super loud or anything, but I definitely wanted like deepening shades and neutral color story. I don't want like 15 gray shades like her glam palette or like 15 bronze shades in her bronze palette i definitely wanted variety and i feel like this gives variety she has a various several finishes in this so let's go over that first this palette has six creamy mattes two sparkling duochromes one multichrome three metallics one satin duochrome and two cream to powder finishes and i feel like that adds to the palette a lot i personally knew that my first natasha denona palette is not going to be like a rainbow palette just because i want to use it if i'm investing my money into it and i feel like this i'm super super happy when i saw the promo pictures or the pictures that was like leaked i felt like it's going to be like a neutral leaning to cool tone uh, palette but i would say this has a great balance of cool tones as well as warm tones and beautiful neutral tones i would say this i'm very very happy and i'm really happy that it has like some deepening shades so it can like go to a very natural look to a very dramatic look which i personally look forward to in any palette that i own without further ado let's move on to the swatches i'm going to go row by row just because i think that makes total sense and i've seen like several people comparing this to the other natasha denona midi palettes in their collection I am not going to do it just because I do not have midi palettes but the way I generally do is I compare it with the other palettes that I have in the collection so that's what I will be doing I'll do several looks with the palette I'll do swatches and I'll compare it with the other palettes that I have in my collection so let's begin this is blackest black and this is one of the existing shades in her line this actually is uh, existing in the natasha denona line as a single shade and also it was a part of the mini xenon palette it seems very creamy it seems very deep 
uh, I feel like it's buildable too. So that's the kind of black that I really like. Now the second shade in the palette is called Aspiration and this is defined as a matte penny brown shade. And it's, it's a very deep brown that leans towards black, I would say. If you are looking for like a brown, which is like deep, 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 I think this would be really, really lovely. The next shade in the palette is called Serenity. And this is one of the satin shades and one of the existing shades that she already has in her line. And this is defined as a satin medium cool brown. And this is an existing shade in her star palette, the bigger star palette. And in that palette, this shade is named as Supernova. The next shade in the palette is called Carpe Diem, which is like Seize the Day. Such a beautiful transitioning shade. Really, really love that one love these kind of shades and this is defined as a matte medium dusty peach and i think this it, the next shade is like my favorite shade in the palette and this is called babies and this is defined as a light rose nude shade in a metallic finish so that is the first row swatched for you guys i would say very very neutral leaning row Really, really love that one. Okay, now let's move on to the second row. Okay, the next shade in the palette is called Instinct and this is a cream to powder finish. And this is a matte medium fuchsia shade. Very, very pretty shade. I really, really love the addition of this in the palette. The next shade in the palette is a duochrome shade and this is called Thrill. And this is more like a gold to a pink duochrome. Very, very beautiful. Can you see that duochrome? A gold to a pink. Really pretty. Those two shades by itself can be a look by itself. The next shade in the palette is called Unity. Another crease shade, I would say. And this is a matte, light, nudie pink shade. Look at that. So pretty. The next shade in the palette is called Risk and it seems like we would have the shade in the collection. It was very, very difficult for me to find a shade like that. And this is a metallic uh, maroon shade, I would say, like a medium maroon shade. And Natasha did mention in her Instagram stories that this shade was derived by this Instinct shade. She added a little bit of peach in it and made it like a metallic finish. And I think that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Now the last shade is called Invention and I could not find a shade like this. It's a duochrome of like a orange to a pink shifting shade. So let me swatch that. And this is the second metallic duochrome in the palette. It very well reminds me of the pa Patrick Ta uh, the rose palette, the new palette that he launched, like all these shades I feel like were there in that palette. So this row is more, I would say like rosy pinky row. Really, really pretty. Now let's move on to the final row. The next shade in the palette is the multi-chrome in the palette and this is called Vision. Oh my God, this is, this has so many shifts. It's unreal, unreal really really pretty i see like a bright green when i see it and see that pink to a green flip you can totally see it it has that pink green gold very very pretty let's move on to the next shade the next shade is called edgy this is another cream to powder finish and this is defined as a medium dark eggplant shade I would say this is very, very similar to the Instinct shade that we swatched in the cream to powder finish. I would have really loved if this was little more deep, like I would not lie. If this, I don't know how it applies on the eye, but this, if this was like the way it looks in the pan, I would have really, really appreciated it. Like this dark, I would have loved it. But nevertheless, we never know how it applies in the eyes, so we'll check that out. The next shade in the palette is called Spontaneous 
and this is defined as a metallic light pearl nude shade very very pretty the next shade in the palette is called nurture and this is defined as a matte medium cool nude shade it's a very cool tone shade again another transitioning crease shade and the last shade in the palette is called Familia and this is defined as a matte caramel brown shade. Really pretty. And I would say this row is more like cool tone. Really, really pretty. And if you guys don't know, Natasha designs the palette in such a way that you can definitely go row wise column wise diagonally you can like definitely create looks out of it uh, a lot of thought goes behind it and i can really appreciate that and also this palette has like pinhole points on the back so you can definitely like take the shade out and like rearrange it that's another feature of this palette that i absolutely love now let's move on to creating three looks using this palette okay let's start i'm gonna first start off with the shade carpadium on my crease Very nice blending shade. Did I mention that this palette is $69? Earlier all these palettes were $65. I guess because of the price inflation she has increased the prices of these palettes. So do keep that in mind. It's not only this palette. All her midi palettes has gone up the price. I'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line. I might be the last person on the internet to review this palette, but better late than never. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade, which is Instinct. It's a beautiful, like a maroon shade, like a magenta shade. I'm going to take that and try building that on my outer corner and getting it towards like the center of my eyelid. Of course, I need to play with my multi-chrome. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to take that on my lower lash line. Now let's see if we can build this or not. I'm going to take Edgy, which is that eggplant shade. I guess it's, it's building up a little bit. Not much, I would say, but yeah, I can see it. And she did mention that this shade Edgy is derived by her shade, the existing shade in her line, which is Deep Dive. And she just made that into like a cream to powder finish. Definitely feel like this could have been a little more deeper for sure. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and just blend out the edges. It's blending very, very nicely, I must say. I'm also going to take that Carpe Diem shade again. Just blend everything together. Just because I definitely want to see that shade in like the background of this look. Okay, now I'm going to dip into blackest black shade. Let's see how black is that. Yeah, I would say that's really good. It's good that there's a black to deepen out everything, I would say. I'm just going to concentrate that on the extreme corner, I would say. And they just blend it into that purple eggplant shade. I'm again going to take that instinct shade that we used. I'm gonna just blend out the edges and just blend it into the crease. I'm just gonna bring it down. And then just blend out the edges. I'm 
just like that now it's time for multi <laughs> we're going to take this shade which is vision and i'm just going to apply it with my fingers just because i apply all my shimmers with my fingers so there's no difference in that and i'm going to concentrate that all across my lid just because when it is a multi chrome i really want to focus it all across the lid just because that is when you can see the shift coming through i hope you can see that shift just like that and then i'm just going to take the instinct brush that we used with the magenta shade i'm just going to blend out the edges just to smoothen out everything not that there's any harsh lines <laughs> but i just want to buff it out can you see that green coming on the extreme end i really love that okay time for the inner corners let's take the shade babies and i'm going to take that on my inner corners i'm just going to pull it up as well as down i would say really pretty i'm going to put that underneath my brow bone too beautiful rose gold shade i'm going to finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and that is my first look Okay, let's move on to the second eye look. But before I move in, let me tell you what I have on my face today. Uh, I basically have Unity shade as my blush, and I have Spontaneous as my highlighter, and it is it totally works on my skin tone, and I cannot be more excited. Also, while we are doing this, I'll also tell my friend here and my subscriber too, Kim. She did mention and she did like swatch. a few palettes that i did not have in my collection that was like very very similar to the natasha denona new dream palette and she and i'll pop a few swatches on the screen for you guys also she did compare it to the sigma new mod palette and you can see how similar those two palettes are and she's like swatched it also for you guys so that you can see and make the decision if you do have the new uh mod palette whether you need the natasha denona dream palette or not and also she did swatch it with the lawless baby one palette thank you so much kim for doing that like i that just makes my day especially the palettes that i do not have and if you find similar color story do help each other out i really really appreciate my friend okay so let's begin uh, i'm going to dip into unity and i'm going to apply that in my crease for the second eye look and this performs so beautifully as a blush like i was surprised i feel like even the shade carpedium would be really really good i'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too i'm filming this on a sunday yesterday is when i received this palette but i had to like rush to church after my first look so i thought i'll do both this look today and then hopefully i'll be able to post it today itself we'll see or it will be there tomorrow morning but hopefully today so once we have unity all across the crease now let's deepen it out with the shade familia and this is like the deeper warm tone brown i would say this most probably would turn out to be like a warm tone eye look And let's do a halo eye because why not? Such a beautiful shade. I'm going to take that on the outer as well as inner corners and blend so nicely. I love this tone of brown. I feel like it can go with like warm tone as well as cool tone looks. Especially this tone of brown is like super super versatile, like a milk chocolate brown. Also going to take that on my lower lash line. Just blend everything together. like that now i'm just going to deepen it out a tiny little bit with the blackest black shade because why not just a tiny little bit will take you to places now with no additional product i'm just going to take that first blending brush and then just blend out everything i'm going to take a flat definer brush and take the shade familiar 
and tightly pack it on my lower lash line. Let's start off with the shade Thrill and then we'll top it off with the shade Invention. And this is more of like a gold to a pink shifting shade. And I just want to show you like how this would look. Even though like before I put Invention because this can be a look by itself, you know that. Take our blending brush. Just blend the edges. I'm also going to take the same shade on my inner corners. Just like that. And you can see, like, you can just stop it here and then call it a day. And that would be a great neutral look by itself. Just finish it off with liner mascara. It'll be all done. But just for the video purposes, I'm just going to take Invention, this beautiful orangey tone. And I'm just going to tap it right on top of that shade and that would give like an orangey shift to it very very pretty I'm gonna go back into familiar just blend out the edges just like that i'm gonna finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back I'm going to finish off my lower lash line with Hindash's Intra and this is a deep chocolatey brown pencil. I feel like for this warm tone look this would be really really beautiful. Just like that and that my friends is the second eye look. Really, really love this one. You can definitely add like a little maroon, the instinct shade on the lower lash line and that would be pretty too. I just want to keep it like as simple as I can, but in the warm tone family. Now let's move on to a neutral eye look. Again, it's going to be super, super wearable, but let's see. Let's see if we can get a twist to it. <laughs> okay, so for the third eye look, I'm just going to dip into Nurture and I'm going to apply that on my crease. And this is more of like a cool tone crease shade. Very, very pretty one. So the Carpadium shade was a little more pink leaning. Unity is a little more like an orangey warm tone leaning. And Nurture is definitely more cool tone. So she has like all the aspects of the eye looks covered in the transitioning shade. I really hope that if this edgy shade was like a deep dark like purple that would be so pretty but yeah if you do have like more Natasha Denona midi palettes you can definitely like interchange shades too just to give it more like variety to it although I love this palette this is my third eye look and I'm already a big fan of it <laughs> I'm gonna take the same shade on my lower lash line too just blow it out Let's start off with the shade Aspiration to deepen out our outer corners. It's a very deep brown shade. Can you see that? Beautiful. I'm going to slowly blend the edges. This brush is so good for that, like packing and blending. This is BK Beauty's Angie Hot and Flashy Collaboration Brush A501. And I'm also going to take the same shade on my lower lash line too, just on the outer corners. Just to melt everything together. While I'm here, let's do one more thing. I'm going to take the same shade, Aspiration, very tiny little bit. I'm going to mix it out with Nurture shade. And I'm just going to take that here in the inner crease area, just a tiny little bit, just here. Just like that. I'm going to wipe off the same brush and then dip into the shade Risk, this maroon shade, which is a little more of a shimmer. And I'm going to start blending that towards the center of my eyelid and also on the same place here. Just like that and again blend the edges I just want to utilize all the shades <laughs> that are there in the palette 
I'm going to take my tight definer brush. Where is it? And I'm going to go into that shade risk and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to dip into the shade Serenity. I'm going to apply it right where we have like left space and mix it with that maroon shade. I'm dipping back into the risk shade I'm just blending both of those shades together. Now for the inner corners, I'm going to dip into this spontaneous shade that I have on my cheekbones as a highlighter too. I'm going to take that in the inner corners and also on my brow bone and then I'm going to dip into this baby's shade and just top everything off with that. Have we used everything? Mm. Yes, we've used everything. So let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and I'll get right back. I finished this eyes off with a black eyeliner and I used my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Black Love. And that is my final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed all the three looks that I've created for you guys. Do let me know in the comment section below, out of the three looks, which one was your favorite? now let's move on to the comparison shades there's not like one palette that i could like find dupes from there are like several almost all neutral palettes that i could have in my collection that is there on my desk so that i can find dupes for you if you ask me i feel like this palette is so worth the money and i'm so glad that i picked this up i feel like the color story is just me and this can be like a staple palette in my collection i'm very very happy with my purchase okay now let's move on to the comparison shades Okay, the first shade in the palette, the blackest black shade, and this dupe was found in my AB8 Sultry palette, and the shade is called Noir, and it's like too deep black shade. So let me swatch that. So that's how it looks. This is ABH, and this is Natasha Denona. Let's move on. The second shade in the palette is Aspiration. And this is like a deep, dark blau brown black shade, I would say. And this is being duped again from the Sultry palette. And the shade is called Dystopian. So let's swatch that. This is Natasha Denona. And this is Sultry. You can see it's super, super close. The next shadow, Serenity. And this is... It's not like a perfect, perfect dupe, but the shade Cinder from the Sultry palette is very, very close to that. Serenity and Cinder. Very close, I would say. The next shadow in the palette is called Carpadium, And this is being duped by my Glam Light Chocolate Martini palette. And the shade is called Syrup. So let's watch that. Natasha Denona and Syrup. There you go. The next shadow in the palette is called Babies. And this is being duped. One by Sultry palette, I would say Rose Quartz shade. And also, let's do that first. Babies. Rose Quartz shade by ABH, Sultry, and also I had one more, Skimpy, yes, Skimpy from Laurelly Los Angeles Nudie 2 palette, and where is Skimpy? Skimpy, there you go, and you can see it's very, very close shades to each other. Now let's move on to the next row. The next shadow in the palette is Instinct. And of course, this is cream to powder finish. I could not have any cream to powder finish in my collection. So I'm just going to dupe the shade. And this, I found it in Modern Renaissance palette. And the shade is called Venetian Red. So let's watch that. There you go. 
The next shadow in the palette is called Thrill. And this is that duochrome from gold to a pink. And this, I won't call it like, a, like an exact dupe, but the shade Cheeky from Laurel Lee Los Angeles Nudie 2 palette is a very, very similar to that. Actually, in the viewfinder, it looks a little different. It was very difficult to find that shade. So yeah, I would, I would not call that a dupe, but a very similar vibe, I would say, on the eyes. The next shade in the palette was Unity, this transitioning shade. And this was duped by the shade Irish Cream from the Glam Light Chocolate Martini palette. Unity and Irish Cream. How similar that is. Another shade, if you do have the Red Dragon palette, the shade Serene was also close, I would say, but not an exact dupe. But I, no, actually, it's super, super similar. So Serene, too. So all those are very, very comparable dupes, I would say. Okay, the next shade is Risk, and that is that shimmery maroon shade. And I could not find anything in my collection that was similar to this shade, which is Risk. So let's move on. The next shade in the palette is Invention. And this is more of like a, a orangey gold shade, I would say. Not that I could find like a dupe to this shade also, but I would say this is more gold and the shade Sun Sprite in the Corderosa palette by Sigma will come close, but not exact. Let's move on. The next shade in the palette is Vision. And this is that multi-chrome shade, the green to a pink shifting shade. And this is being duped by the Red Dragon palette and the shade is called Luna. So let's do that. This is Vision and this is Luna. Very similar, but not exact. The next shadow in the palette is Edgy and this is that eggplant shade, medium to deep eggplant shade. Again, in a cream to powder formula. I would say the dupe that I found is in another Laurel Lee Los Angeles palette and the shade is called Risque. My kids are jumping, so ignore that. And that is, it's a formula difference, but the shades are very, very similar. The next shadow in the palette is Spontaneous and not an exact dupe, but a similar shade, I would say. Again, is from Laura Lee Los Angeles palette and the shade is called Sheer. So let's watch that. Spontaneous and Sheer. The next shade in the palette is Nurture and this is like a cool tone transitioning shade. And this I found the dupe in my chocolate martini palette and the shade is called Bittersweet. So let's watch that. Now let's move on to the last shade of the palette and the last shade is called Familiar. And this is being duped by my one of the Sigma palettes. And this is found in Sigma's Warm Neutrals palette and the shade is called Henna. So let's watch that. Natasha Denona and Henna from Sigma Warm Neutrals. That was a terrible swatch, but very similar. <laughs> So those were like the comparisons and like the dupe shades that I could find in my palette collection that I have. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. And if you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week. Every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.